got the post. They're off. Bad humor, preacher time, and cash for the soul. The outside three are fastest. Cash for the soul puts his head in front. Sand Hill Sammy's about to join the party through from the inside, and so now these four right across the racetrack. They have sprinted four lengths clear of Dos Cuernos, and the trailer is Mr. Benz. Three of them across the track as Sand Hill Sammy, a bad humor, and cash for the soul now match strides. Preacher time has taken back, and he'll angle in behind those top three. Sand Hill Sammy, oh, we've had a horse uh, pull up. Number six, or number six, bad humor has been pulled up, leaving the back stretch. So that lands cash for the soul, and Sand Hill Sammy one, two, and cash for the soul is ahead in front of Sand Hill Sammy. Sammy in second. It's now three back to preacher time in third. Then comes Mr. Benz. Mr. Benz still has a long way to come. He is four from the front, but he is now closing in strongly, and you better take a look at Mr. Benz because here he comes. Mr. Benz has run right alongside and right by preacher time, so Mr. Benz is now the clear-cut leader, and he's going to win it. Preacher time, Dos Cuernos maybe for third, and Mr. Benz in front. Mr. Benz won by three, could have been twice that. Preacher time was second, Dos Cuernos third. Cash for the soul, finish fourth. They're at the post. They're off. Lucky Bridges, Samurai Mike, Fault Line, and Out of Hiding all show speed. Nikki Numbers a close fifth, and Jailhouse and Ramblin' Rudy Rags. Barstool Budget is next, and the early trailer is Neapolitan. Out of Hiding is quickest up the back stretch, a half length in front of Fault Line and Lucky Bridges together, second and third. Those three have sprinted four lengths clear of Barstool Budget, Samurai Mike, and Nikki Numbers, all five from the front. Neapolitan has moved up a position. He's six off the lead. And then comes Ramblin' Rudy Rags, and Jailhouse is the trailer. He's got three furlongs to make up ten lengths. Out of Hiding is strong up front. Out of Hiding to the quarter pole, now leads by two lengths from Lucky Bridges. Riches and fault line. To the outside, Neapolitan continues a three wide run. Nikki numbers just inside of him, but out of hiding is the one to catch. Jailhouse is now five from the front, but out of hiding comes past mid stretch with a big lead. Out of hiding, now four lengths in front. Neapolitan and Lucky Bridges battle with Barstool Budget, but out of hiding has just run them right off their feet, and Eminem Racing gonna sweep the early daily double. Out of hiding. Out of hiding one by eight in the end. Ramblin' Rudy Rags was second, close for third between Barstool Budget and Lucky Bridges. They're at the post. They're off. Fire on high broke well and is hard sent early from Mischief Galore, but Mischief Galore is fastest and clears. Mischief Galore to the front from Elena Marie and maybe next year, then Carissa Christmas. Fire on high was absolutely sent, but now is backing up through the field, passed by Gotta Fly and Quite a Secret. Ava's Candy is at the back of the pack alongside Electris. So Mischief Galore and maybe next year are 1-2. Maybe next year in a tight spot at the rail, going to have to get out of there. So Mischief Galore now clears off. Elena Marie takes second and is on the move. Mischief Galore, a half length in front of Elena Marie in second. Gotta fly just past, maybe next year for third. Quite a secret and Carissa Christmas have four to come. Fire on high is still seven lengths behind with Ava's Candy and Electris and Mischief Galore and Elena Marie are one, two. Mischief Galore now leads by a length. Elena Marie is second, two and a half lengths to Gotta fly in third. Then comes Carissa Christmas and fire on high, but Mischief Mischief Galore is inching clear, and she is gone. Mischief Galore now five in front of Elena Marie. Gotta fly, and quite a secret, Mischief Galore in front. 
Mischief Galore won by four and a half. Elena Marie was second. Very close for third. Maybe fire on high over quite a secret. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. Because Arkansas residents can bet on races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, from anywhere. Download the Oaklawn Anywhere app or visit oaklawnanywhere.com to sign up. Sign up now and you can qualify for a bonus of up to $150. Best of all, Oaklawn Anywhere is a free betting service with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. What happens on Lake Hamilton stays on Lake Hamilton. Unless you catch a big old bass. Then it comes home to go on the wall. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. Some come to Hot Springs to hear the sounds of Lake Hamilton lapping against the shore. And some like to hear something just a little different. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. West Rock Coffee is made from the highest quality beans available, grown by passionate farmers in East Africa. We continually educate our farmers to ensure that they have the latest tools and training, which result in the highest quality coffee. In doing so, we make sure that every worker is able to build a good life for themselves and their families. Each cup of West Rock coffee enriches the lives of both those who drink it and more importantly, those who grow it. West Rock works wonders. They're at the post. They're off. Mostly sunny and Bud's Mr. B, oh so tall at the rail. Hank's alibi, hard sent by John Court, but it will be oh so tall to make the lead. So it's oh so tall and Bud's Mr. B, one two up the backside. Then comes Hank's alibi, hot blooded song, and between horses, mean bone. Detroit Cowboy and Mostly Sunny have three lengths to make up. Money Act just split those two. At the back of the pack are Arch Revenge and Is It Innocent. Into the far turn with oh so tall and Bud's Mr. B still. One, two. Oh, so tall, a neck in front. Bud's Mr. B is second, three quarters of a length to a hard ridden Moneyak. Hot blooded song will be four wide at the top of the stretch. He's two from the front. Then comes Detroit Cowboy and Mostly Sunny with Moneyak between horses. It's three and a half lengths now. Further back to Is Innocent, and it's wide open, top of the stretch, oh so tall. Mean bone alongside. Now in the center, here's Detroit Cowboy and Moneyak. At the rail goes Mostly Sunny, any one of about 405, oh so tall, just in front. Moneyak to the outside. Mean bone between horses, mean bone, oh so tall, mostly sunny at the rail. Oh so tall, mean bone, mostly sunny, mean bone gets up. Mean bone beat, mostly sunny, oh so tall, third, Moneyak, fourth. They're at the post, and they're off. Rockin' Candy and Holiday Mischief with Lynn Dante. These three are quick opportunistics at the rail. Ship Stalker away in a good spot. Then due to his charm and treasury bill, followed by Dapper Jack and the early trailer is Coastal Highway. Lynn Dante to the back stretch, a half length in front of Holiday Mischief and a three wide Rockin' Candy. These three are one, two, three to the back stretch with Opportunistic tucked in at the rail in fourth. Ship Stalker's just outside of him fifth and two and a half off the lead. 
Then it's a gap of three lengths back to due to his charm and treasury bill, another three to Dapper Jack, and eight lengths last to Coastal Highway. Good pace on as they head up the backstretch, and now Lindante is clear. To the half mile marker, Lindante leads by two and a half lengths to Rock and Candy, Holiday Mischief between horses, and Opportunistic at the rail. Ship Stalker is still in good position if he's good enough. He's fifth and about four from the front, two in front of Treasury Bill and due to his charm. Then comes Dapper Jack, and Coastal Highway has trailed throughout, and Lindante has led throughout. Lindante, three quarters of a length to Rock and Candy in second. Opportunistic is third at the rail and two from the front. Ship Stalker is fourth now, but now he's six lengths behind. Holiday Mischief backs out, then Dapper Jack, top of the stretch, Lindante trying to give Eminem Racing their third, and he looks like he just might do it. Lindante, final furlong, a two-length lead now over Rockin' Candy and Opportunistic. Five back to Treasury Bill, who is closing, but he is seven lengths behind. Lindante is 16th out. Lindante leads. Opportunistic going to try him through from the inside, and he's got a chance, and he's going to get him. Opportunistic in front. Opportunistic beat Lindante a half length. Close for third between Rockin' Candy and Treasury Bill. At Coors, our mountain is creating a more sustainable world. It's why we pioneered the recyclable can, made our breweries landfill-free, and built the most powerful solar array at any one brewery in the country. But our climb is far from over, so we keep pushing forward. Coors Light, whatever your mountain, climb on. Local favorite Bones Chop House offers premium in-house cut steaks, fresh seafood, and a full-service bar with a great selection of wines and spirits. Open Tuesday through Sunday, they offer nightly dinner specials. And join them on your way to the track Sunday for brunch. Located at 3920 Central Avenue in Hot Springs. Hearty eating and good company at Bones Chop House. Ministry, Ms. 51st Street Division of Chocolate, Ministry in front. J.E.'s hand me down to the wire. J.E.'s hand me down. Who, Nani Road wins the rainbow. And here's Georgia's reward between horses. Firewater rocket back to second. Georgia's reward, yes. Glacken's Ghost suddenly three in front. Chant me up, baby, and racer try for second. Glacken's Ghost. They're at the post. They're off. Reversal of Fortune in C Dub, Bay Sider in Alex's Heist, VTAC MD is next. Then Grand Grand and Tap Show, followed by Calculating King and Inked, Sink the Bismarck and Wicked Gem. And the trailer is Jimbo's Biz, and the leader is C Dub. It is C Dub past the half mile pole with a three length lead over VTAC MD, who is second by two and a half lengths to Bay Sider in third. Reversal of Fortune is fourth, but he's already seven lengths behind and two in front of Grand Grand, Tap Show, Wicked Gem, and Sink the Bismarck. Another five lengths back to Inked and Calculating King with Alex's Heights and Jimbo's Biz. Got to be 20 lengths behind the front running moose, C Dub. And look at him roll along. C Dub at the quarter mile marker has built up a eight or ninth length lead on Base Sider, who just took second. Wicked Gem to the outside, that's all for VTAC MD, and C Dub has a final furlong to get, and he's still seven or eight in front. Base Sider is now clearly second, Wicked Gem is third, and a reversal of fortune at the rail, but C Dub has just run them right off their feet today, and C Dub gonna coast to victory, reversal of fortune second, C Dub. 
C-Dub won by seven and a half. Reversal of Fortune was second. Baysider third. Wicked Gem finished fourth. They're at the post. They're off. King's Reckoning and Memphis in May shows speed, 139, and Pain and Misery, who's asked for speed. Pain and Misery going to poke his head in front. Then comes Mr. Tickle with Bodie's Maker and Orbitron, followed by Curlin Road, and at the back of the pack is a Springtime Mojo. So they run to the backstretch with Memphis in May and 139-12. Memphis in May, a length in front. 139 is second three quarters of a length. Pain and Misery is third with two lengths to make up. King's Reckoning just just inside of him at the rail. Mr. Tickle is midfield. He's fifth with about four to come. Bodie's Maker just inside of him. Curlin Road has eight lengths to close. He's a length in front of Orbitron. And then five lengths last to Springtime Mojo. 13 lengths first to last. Memphis in May, a half mile from the money and a length and a half in front of 139 in second. Pain and Misery and King's Reckoning are still together, third and fourth. Here's King's Reckoning to move through at the rail. Might get into second soon. He's trying to save ground. Then comes Mr. Tickle and Bodie's Maker. Curlin Road is closer, but he's still in seventh. Now he's on the move, and here comes Curlin Road passing horses. He's about to go from seventh to fourth within two of the lead. Far back to Springtime Mojo, Memphis in May, Pain and Misery, Mr. Tickle, and a four-wide Curlin Road. These four across the track. Orbitron also comes through from between horses. Curlin Road all the way up to challenge Mr. Tickle and Orbitron. These three across the track. Also still very much in it is Pain and Misery. Now four to the wire. Mr. Tickle, Curlin Road to the outside. Pain and Misery to the inside in Memphis in May. It is three coming to the wire and it's gonna be Mr. Tickle or Orbitron. This is very, very close. It's Orbitron or Mr. Tickle. They're an inch apart and Curlin Road was third. Want to know the most exciting use of your iPhone or iPad? It's the Oaklawn Anywhere app. Oaklawn Anywhere is available in the App Store, and Arkansas residents can download it for free. Then you can bet online anytime on your iPhone or iPad and get cashback rewards. Sign up today using promo code APP, and you can earn as much as a $150 bonus. The Oaklawn Anywhere app opens up a world of top racing action wherever you are. From Oaklawn, home of the Arkansas Derby and the Racing Festival of the South, to racing at tracks across the world, you can bet and watch right from your iPhone or iPad. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Remember that pony you asked for as a kid? Well, it's finally here. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. The thermal spring waters our city is named after are known for their legendary healing properties. Their thirst quenching properties are pretty nice too. Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's different here. Come see why. Check out Hot Springs' newest and favorite taco destination, Capo's Tacos, located across from Oak Lawn Park on Higdon Ferry. Or visit us at Blue Monkey Grill, one of Hot Springs' favorites for over 15 years. They're at the post. They're off. 
perfect start for absolutely Aiden, who goes right to the front from Mojovation in second. Nomo Ron, Deflator at the rail, and King of the Quarter next. Then Minecraft Maniac and Soaring Bird, and the early trailer is Acosta. Sharp off the layoff, absolutely Aiden to the far turn, a half length in front of Mojovation in second. Here comes David Cohen and King of the Court to put pressure on, and King of the Court runs up three wide, and now these three are right across the racetrack. Deflator races in fourth with two and a half to make up. Soaring Bird is fifth and on the move. Nomo Ron sixth with six lengths to close, then Minecraft Maniac and Acosta, and absolutely Aiden has dropped back to third at the top of the stretch. King of the Court and Mojovation are the two that go on right now and King of the Court is a half length in front of Mojovation in second. Deflator just took third. Soaring Bird absolutely eight and not today and King of the Court is clear. King of the Court now a four length lead. Soaring Bird to the inside Deflator and Mojovation but King of the Court is far in front to the wire. King of the Court. King of the Court won by six lengths in the end, maybe more than that. Soaring Bird was second. It is very close for third between Deflator and Nomo Ron. They're off. Ordained Kiss and another rocket, Dutch Treat and a Dixie Flyer. Then comes All About Clara in the mix as well. Also up there is Michelle's Grace. They scramble up the backstretch. All About Clara. Ordained Chris, another Kiss, another rocket, and to the outside, Dixie Flyer. Those four have sprinted a length and a half clear of Michelle's Grace with just outside of her dirty Dixie Road. Dutch Treat is midfield. She's got about five to come. Flat out in Foxy just inside of her. She's too cool in Firewater Rocket are 10 from the lead and Tommy Trucker is the trailer wide open rounding the far turn ordained kiss at the rail another rocket all about Clara and a four wide Dixie Flyer now moving to the rail and moving up is dirty Dixie Road within two of the lead Dutch treat now unwinds and she's got momentum and here's Dutch treat the gray and the yellow cap in the center she's too cool as following her many chances final furlong another rocket has the lead Dixie Flyer Dutch treat can continues to close and here's Dutch Treat in the center flat out and Foxy is fourth another rocket gonna have to hold off Dixie Flyer and Dutch Treat these three come to the wire Dixie Flyer Dutch Treat another rocket Dutch Treat in time Dutch Treat beat Dixie Flyer another rocket and flat out and Foxy